Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture we will study about output equation of single phase induction motor. We will derive one equation that is known as the output equation and that is for single phase induction motor. In case of output equation we know that output equation can be defined as it is a relationship between output rating of the machine with its main dimension and speed. Now let us start uh, defining output equation for single phase induction motor. So KVA rating of the single phase induction motor that is uh, Q and uh, it is equal to product of rated voltage and rated current multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 to convert VA rating into KVA rating and that can be indicated as product of V multiplied by I and multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 and let us call it equation number 1 where I is equal to full load current in the main winding in ampere and V that is the rated voltage voltage can be given by this equation V that is equal to 4.44 multiplied by flux pi multiplied by frequency F multiplied by turns of the main winding that is Tm multiplied by Kw that is the winding factor and for frequency we know the equation that is uh, F is equal to P by 2 multiplied by ns ns that is the synchronous speed in revolution per second now we have these two equation and let us substitute both the values in equation number one one by one first we will introduce we will substitute value of v and then the value of frequency f so if we substitute then the equation for q that becomes Q is equal to 4.44 flux 5 multiplied by frequency F multiplied by turns of the main winding Tm multiplied by Kw and multiplied by I multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3. Now let us substitute value of frequency F into this equation and then our equation becomes 4.44 multiplied by flux 5 multiplied by P by 2 multiplied by NS multiplied by Tm multiplied by Kw and multiplied by I and 10 raised to minus 3 where flux 5 that is a flux per pole in Weber Tm that is number of turns of the main winding P that is equal to number of poles Kw that is a winding factor and ns that is synchronous speed in a revolution per second so when we rearrange the equation then it becomes q is equal to 1.11 multiplied by kw multiplied by product of p and 5 that is our total magnetic loading multiplied by 2 times tm multiplied by I and that group is known as our total electric loading and multiplied by synchronous speed NS multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 and let us call it equation number 2 specific electric loading we know that it is indicated by AC and that is equal to Z Z is total number of conductors multiplied by IZ, IZ that is the current passing through the conductor and divided by pi D where D is uh, our stator board diameter. Current in each conductor IZ that can be also given as uh, I and total number of stator conductor Z that is 2 times turns per phase and uh, that is 2 times 
TM. TM is the, our turns of the main winding. So specific electric loading equation now AC becomes equal to 2 times Tm multiplied by I and divided by pi D. So if we rearrange the equation then 2 Tm I becomes equal to AC multiplied by pi D. Now let us substitute this value in equation number 2. So Q is equal to 1.11 kW P5. Now we have substituted value for 2 Tm I and that is equal to AC and pi D. So here we can see that uh, this value we have substituted right and uh, multiplied by synchronous speed NS in RPS multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3. And uh, let us call it uh, equation number 3. Now same way we have specific magnetic loading and uh, specific magnetic loading that is average flux density around the air gap BAV and that is indicated by P5 divided by pi dl and therefore product of P5 that becomes equal to BAV multiplied by pi dl where uh, BAV that is a specific magnetic loading and AC in previous slide we have seen that AC that is specific uh, electric loading D that is stator bore diameter and L that is stator coil length now let us substitute uh, this value of uh, product of P5 in equation number 3 then equation number 3 becomes Q is equal to 1.11 kw and now we have substituted this value pi dl and bav so after substituting this value the equation becomes like this and uh, now we have to again uh, rearrange the equation if we do the proper uh, grouping and uh, if we rearrange then equation becomes q is equal to 1.11 pi square bav ac multiplied by kw multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 so this is one group and multiplied by d square l d square l that is uh, our volume of the machine and multiplied by ns that is synchronous speed in revolution per second so it becomes co multiplied by d square l multiplied by ns for this group 1.11 pi square BAV AC KW 10 raised to minus 3 we have substituted this value CO right and now it is called as a output equation and let us call it uh, equation number 4 so this is our output equation for single fish induction motor where CO that is 1.11 pi square BAV AC KW and multiplied by 10 raised to minus 3 and it is known as a output coefficient from the output equation we can write this equation that d square l d square l is the volume of the machine and that is uh, equal to q divided by co and uh, synchronous speed ns from this equation we can say that uh, volume or d square l that is inversely proportional to the output coefficient and synchronous speed from the this relationship between volume of the machine with output coefficient and synchronous speed we can say that the volume of the machine d square l is reduced if designed for higher speed thus decreasing the size and cost of the machine because d square l volume is inversely proportional to the synchronous speed so if we go for higher speed then uh, volume or ultimately size and cost of the machine can be uh, reduced the larger the value of output coefficient the smaller is the size of the machine so same way again volume is inversely proportional to the output coefficient so if we uh, increase the uh, value of output coefficient the size of the machine will reduce 
आउटपुट कॉफिशियंट इज लार्जर इफ मशीन इज डिजाइन एट हायर स्पेसिफिक मैग्नेटिक एंड इलेक्ट्रिक लोडिंग विच अल्टीमेटली रिजल्ट इन टू रिडक्शन ऑफ साइज एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ द मशीन सो वी नो दैट आउटपुट इक्वेशन और आउटपुट कॉफिशियंट सीओ दैट इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोजनल टू द BAV and AC that is specific magnetic as well as specific electric loading so if we want to increase the value of output coefficient the way we have only is to increase the value of specific magnetic loading and or specific electric loading so if we go for higher specific as well as specific magnetic as well as specific electric loading then value of output coefficient is larger and ultimately because volume is inversely proportional to the uh, output coefficient our machine volume will decrease and ultimately size and cost will be reduced but again there are certain restriction that uh, while choosing our specific uh, magnetic as well as specific electric loading so choice of specific loading choice of specific magnetic loading in case of single phase induction motor we can choose value of specific magnetic loading in between the range 0.35 to 0.55 weber per meter square and same way we can have a choice of specific electric loading ac that is in the range of 5000 to 15000 ampere a conductor per meter so this way we can select our specific loadings accordingly we will have our output coefficient and our main dimension that is a volume d square l will be decided so thank you very much thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much